continue looking at a listing of derivative rules in section 3.3 .3 on the product and quotient rules. So most of the rules most uh, that we've seen so far for the derivatives are exactly what we'd expect. The derivative of a sum is the sum of the respective derivatives. The derivative of, uh, of a constant multiple times a function is that constant times the, fun uh, time, times the derivative of the function. And so you might expect that the derivative, so the first one we're going to talk about here is the product rule. So suppose that we have to take the derivative of a product of two functions. The most natural thing to, to say is that the derivative of the product is the product of the derivatives. And this turns out to be not true uh, at all. So instead, what the product rule, so, so, so this is maybe the first kind of unexpected rule that we have. As it turns out, the derivative of the product uh, of a product is f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. So in order, so in order to take the derivative of a product of two functions, what you do, you take the derivative of the first function, leave the second alone, multiply those together, leave this first function alone, multiply it by the derivative of the second function, uh, and then so you have these two terms here, add it together, that is the product rule. So in words, the derivative of first times second is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So again, uh, maybe our, our first kind of surprising rule that, that we have here. Uh, in particular, once again, it's not just the product of the derivatives. Uh, let's do an example or two right now. So here is an example. Suppose that we have to take the derivative of x squared times 7x minus 4. So what we, so what we can do here is here is f of x. Here is g of x. And so this derivative ends up being... So, derivative of the first times the second. So, derivative of x squared times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. The first times the derivative of the second. So, I'm writing all this out in lots and lots of detail. In the future, you, you might be able to do this more rapidly, but it's good to have everything written out in nice detail. So here is our answer. Um, if you wanted to simplify this, if you wanted to expand everything out, so it looks like we got 14x squared, 7x squared is 21x squared, minus uh, 4 times 2 is 8x. Um, I should note that when we have the product rule, it's uh, one thing, one way that we can check to make sure our answer is right is that we could actually go back up here, expand out the multiplication, and see that yes, we do come up with the same thing here. So we could have said, hey, this is the derivative of x squared times 7x is 7x cubed minus 4 times x squared. And so this derivative is, using the power rule, 21x squared minus 8x. And yes, we see those are exactly the same things. Uh, so, so you might wonder, 
you know, in, in this case, why are we bothering to use the product rule? Because it looks like, you know, one multiplication and a very easy differentiation. So, um, in this case, yes, it probably would have been easier to to uh, just do it this way. However, it's good to have the product rule in your pocket because you could have more and more complicated uh, products going on there where you wouldn't necessarily want to expand everything out. Um, so if you don't want things expanded out, it's, it's probably best to, to just use the product rule. Uh, here's another example. So suppose that we have y is uh, oops, 2 plus x to the minus 1 times x of 3 halves plus 1. So here is our f of x. Here is our g of x. So y prime is the derivative of f of x, which is uh, minus x to the minus 2 times g of x, x of 3 halves plus 1. Plus, we leave f of x alone, 2 plus x to the minus 1, times the derivative of g of x is here, um, 3 halves times x to the 1 half. And so there is your derivative. You could, you could expand it out if you, if you wanted to, um, but let's say that you're happy with this as your final answer. Well, maybe this is easier than, than distributing out the multiplication. Uh, one final example that is very common. Um, this is the sort of, of calculation that, that will come up a lot uh, in your future calculus courses. I, I, I can already think about where this kind of calculation would come up in, say, uh, Calc 2 and integration by parts or in uh, differential equations. So I, um, uh, I'll just leave it, leave it at that. So here we have... What do we want to do here? t squared is, let's call that f of t, e to the t, let's call that g of t. So the derivative here is the derivative f is 2t times we leave e to the t alone, plus we leave f of t alone and multiply it by g of t, sorry, the derivative of g of t, but the derivative of g of t is derivative of e to the t is still just e to the t. So there's two different e to the t's here, but they're actually different. They're playing different roles. So this e to the t is g, g of t, and this e to the t is actually g prime of t. So they look the same, and I mean, they, they are the same, but they're playing slightly different roles in our product rule calculation.